This is disgusting. I can't believe I'm reporting this news. Cost Taser deaf man after he didn't hear a command. You want to see this? Oh, this guy's deaf. This guy is a deaf. He doesn't know what's going on. Recently abused and tased a deaf man. Yeah, the deaf guy doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what's going on. He tried to tell you he can't hear. He can't hear. Look at him. He told me, I can't hear. He can't hear. He can't hear. They keep trying to talk to him when, to reiterate, he cannot hear them. He can't hear this death! This is another instance of how police simply do not know how to interact with members of the public. See? He's he what are you doing sign like that? He can't hear! The man whose name you is John fuck him on. has brought forward litigation. The two sides are battling it out currently in an Austin courthouse. He's doing sign language! Means he cannot hear! Look at him! He's doing sign language! He cannot hear! You guys are dumb! After this debacle, we learn more of what went down that fateful evening. Local media reported police used a taser against Kelly, who's deaf, in May 2019, while he was walking along a highway frontage road. Body-worn camera footage obtained by KSAT showed. Through an American Sign Language interpreter, Kelly told KSAT he was walking away from his family's vehicle near I-35 and Davis Lane. After having a disagreement with his wife, he later learned that someone who saw Kelly and his wife, who's also deaf, signing to each other, called 911 and reported a possible physical disturbance. Footage obtained by KSAT shows three officers approaching Kelly from either side of him and from behind, repeatedly yelling for him to stop before two officers used their taser on him. Kelly, who could not hear the commands because he's deaf, was then kicked twice in the side. Wow. Kicked twice. Would show. Kelly told KSAT he temporarily blacked out from being stunned by the tasers before waking up and attempting to communicate with the officers that he is indeed deaf. The footage shows Kelly with his hands beneath his forehead before he rolls over and is shocked again while attempting to tell the wow. officers he is deaf. He confirmed he was later hospitalized for injuries resulting from the incident. Shame on that police department for taking that type of action. It was wrong, said Kelly, who added that the ordeal played out in front of his wife and several of their children. The officers' description of what took place contradicts the body-worn camera of two of the officers. All three officers, Andrew Weisner, Basil Pierce, and John DeCordy, wrote in their incident narratives that Kelly tucked his hands under his torso. The footage would show Whatever. Kelly with his hands up by his head both times that he is on his stomach. DeCordy demonstrated the arms tucked under torso movement while talking with other officers, and a supervisor gathered at the scene after the incident the footage would show. The microphones, this is important, of both officers who recorded footage of DeCordy tucking his hands under his chest were muted while the conversation took place. Quote, my hands were not under my chest. I wanted to gesture to the police and show them with my hands that I wanted to write to communicate. That's where my hands were in front of me, clearly, Kelly would say.
Yep. A federal lawsuit filed in May 2021 accuses the city of San Marcos and the three officers of violating Kelly's civil rights and the Americans with Disabilities Act. We'll keep you posted.